Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a bucket and spade applique. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, for the bucket the size is 5cm wide by 6.5cm or 1 and 3 quarter inches wide by 2.5 inches. The spade is 2.5 cm wide by 5.5 cm or 1 inch wide by 2.25 inches. The medium bucket crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm hook is 3.5 cm wide by 5 cm or 1.5 inches wide by 2 inches. The spade is 2 cm wide by 4 cm or three quarters of an inch wide by one and a half inches. The small bucket crocheted using two ply crochet cotton and a one millimetre hook is two and a half centimetres wide by three and a half centimetres or one inch wide by one and a half inches. The spade is one and a half centimetres wide by three centimetres or half an inch wide by one and a quarter inches. For these ones I added a flower to the bucket just to decorate it a bit. I'll be adding a flower to the one I'm doing today just to show you how to crochet the flower. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I haven't made one with Katona cotton so I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I've got 115 hot red, 172 light silver and 106 snow white for the flower. I've got a bead for the centre of the flower, a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and some white cotton to stitch the flower to the bucket. Now I'll work the bucket first. I've got my 115, the hot red, and we start with 5 chain. For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And we work one single crochet in each of the last three stitches as well. For row two we start with two chain and turn our work and we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the four stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So one half double crochet in each of the last three stitches as well. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch and then 1 half double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And 2 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each of the 6 stitches. For 
for row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. Now we're going to work a neatening row, we're not going to turn. We start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. Just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. Now into the first stitch along the bottom we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each stitch along the bottom to the last stitch. And into the last stitch we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then work one single crochet in each stitch up the side of the bucket. And then into the first stitch along the top work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then one single crochet into each stitch along the top. Now we're going to start on the rim. We start with two chain and we're going to work two half double crochet into the front loop only. So it's this stitch here of the last stitch on the neatening row. This is the front loop and this is the back loop here. So just this loop here. Two half double crochet into that loop there. And then we work one half double crochet into the front loop only of each of the stitches to the last stitch along, back along the neatening row. and work two half double crochet into the front loop only of the last stitch. Work two chain and slip stitch into that last stitch. So we put our hook in to the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And then we fasten off. And that's the bucket done except for the handle. The rim's going to bend down 
over the top of the bucket. Now I'll weave that end in and I'll be back with the silver and we'll work the handle. Now for the handle I've got my 172, the light silver, and we join just in, be in behind the rim. And we work about 20 chain. It depends on how tight you work your chain as to how many you'll need. So about 20. And then just bend it across and see how it looks, if it's enough. And then we join with a slip stitch just at the top of the back of the rim. And fasten off. And that's the bucket with the handle. Now for the flower, I've got my 106, the Snow White. And we start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. Or you could use three or four chain and join with a slip stitch if you'd prefer. For a magic loop, I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end to make a circle, put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And then I work one chain quite tightly and slip stitch into the circle. And then I work one double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and bring up a loop yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then slip stitch into the circle and then work one more double crochet. And then slip stitch into the circle and work a double crochet. And we repeat that twice more, slip stitch into the circle and work a double crochet. Slip stitch into the circle and work a double crochet. And then slip stitch into the circle. We've got five petals. And then we take hold of this tail and just ease it in as tight as you can and fasten off. And that's the flower done. Now we'll start on the scoop part of the spade now. I've got my 115 the hot red and we start with 3 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. Now we're going to work a neatening row around the piece so we start with 1 chain and work 1 single crochet into the last stitch just, just in here. 
that's the first stitch for our corner for this corner and then we're going to work a corner stitch into the first stitch on the next row so we work one single crochet into the back of the chain and then one chain and one single crochet into that same stitch and then into the back of the next chain we work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then into this stitch up here work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet into the next stitch and join in the one chain and that's our neatening row done now we're going to work just around the side of three sides of this, this part so we're going to work into the front loop only so it slopes in so this is the front loop here it can be a bit hard to get your hook into so we're going to work one single crochet into the front loop only of each of the stitches around the three sides and then just slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off and this flat area is the front of our spade I'll weave in the ends and we'll work the handle now for the handle we join the red just at the top back just in behind the side so down in here this stitch here and we work 15 chain Then we slip stitch in the 10th chain from the hook which is the 6th stitch from our join so that's stitch there now we're going to work around this circle we've formed we slip stitch into each of the next two stitches and then work two single crochet into the next stitch and then one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches
and two single crochet into the next stitch and then one slip stitch into each of the last two stitches then we're going to work one single crochet into each of the chain down to our handle and then slip stitch into the back of the spade and fasten off and that's the spade done I'll just weave in the ends and we'll be back and put it together now there's my pieces I've got the bucket, the flower and the spade to make it up I just add the flower to the bucket with the bead. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back to show you the finished bucket and spade. There's the finished bucket and spade. The bucket is 4 cm wide by 6 cm or half an inch wide by 2 and a quarter inches. The spade is 2 cm wide by 5 cm or three quarters of an inch wide by two inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.